So Gene Gotti, very interesting looking man, let me tell you. Him being released from jail, prison, whatever you choose to call it right. I was gonna say I was gonna say upstate. Shouts out to New York with that sort of thing. Right. But yeah, so like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two and combine them together into one, right? But yes, the Gambino family and a Gene Gotti. Anyone remember the Gambino family? They're a mob family, mafia family. Whatever you choose to call or dislike. Some people, in fact, don't like that <laughs> That sort of thing. Even on a TV screen or film and all the rest. A depiction of mob life and story. And the disaster and chaos in which it carries, right? Guns going off and innocent lives being lost as in bystanders. Yes, when there's a war going on. With that, you just don't know. But yes, the, uh, some small... I'm not going to even give the history, but I'm going to just give a little bit of uh, criminal information not completely on them but some of the active activities in which the family loved to get into and did back in their day right they are in fact one of the five families of new york their activities spanning from new york all the way to california crime activities in fact includes and included racketeering gambling loan sharking extortion money laundering prostitution fraud hijacking even more fraud pickpocketing and more that ain't even the half of it and even more fraud <laughs> that's off the hook called a fraud department over that one that that yeah because, see, the, to say that these type of families existed, yes, and even many of them have, in fact, took over, yeah. I can't even say where in relation to business establishments and all the rest in the New York and running New York and helping to run. Even politicians and all the rest. Nameless individuals and, yeah, in fact, know that they're there, right? It's to say the ways in which they can get down and dirty and how people feel, well, they're, they have died off or... They don't they don't no longer exist or they're no longer in operation. No, because to say that there's future future generations there is to say, well, what do you have? As in what sits? Operation, I was going to say full of petty thieves, but yet that's not that. Because to do thievery in that manner is to say it's not petty theft. No, it's something else. It's something else as in that's that family's love of ritual and all the rest. They're still alive. And for Gene Gotti to be released, yes. It's to say, what do you have? Him coming back on the return. Okay, so Gene Gotti being the family boss. He has returned to the streets, which leaves various sides of America at the heart of war. People are going to be sick in the heart over the mess of even, yes, a Gene Gotti being released. Oh, did I forget to say that? Shouts out to John Gotti as well. Is John Gotti dead? I believe he is. I think he got sick or something and died. Wow. Blood Brothers. He's in the relatives with that sort of thing. Gotti, yes, Gene, to be exact, served up to 30 years in federal jail for drug trafficking. Heroin. That, that was a trafficking drug of choice, which is why he served those 30 years. He's now 71 years old and ready to handle the family operations once again. The old school memories, yes, of what Gotti, in fact, misses. Like they say, unfinished business, yes, unfinished business has yet to be told on the end of a uh, Gene Gotti. Did I say John Gotti? I'm sorry, Gene Gotti. The name sounds so close, I, that's how you, in fact, mess up, right? But his old school memories in the release is to say he, in fact, wants to get back to unfinished business. That's that's how it usually is when people get out of business. They don't they don't usually depart from their old ways. No, they usually just keep on doing it, moving for, forward in that and sometimes even becoming more corrupt without standing still. 
and yet the public don't know about it. He misses his old ways, his old school mafia tactics. That's to say, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. The feet are going to be planted forward with that. Criminality is in Gotti's genes. It's always been there. As in how you create and lay and make a baby and then you raise them and then, yeah. Father figures with that sort of thing. As in how the babies or whoever's going to come out and they're going to repeat the process of what you done did. That's to say he knows nothing else. As in where to go to make money after you done committed so many different crimes and went to jail for 30 years. I wonder how his mindset is sitting behind a jail because even operation had to have been going on, yeah, while he was in jail, right? So yes, criminality is in fact his genes. That's his DNA makeup. And it helps to not stay blind on that. I wonder if he's going to get in any trouble while he's out. So a cousin of mob boss Nicodemo, a cousin of a mob, uh, mob boss Nicodemo by the name of Big Mac, like McDonald's, yeah, Big, Big Mac in fact expressed in his own words, if them new guys don't step aside for their superior, Gene Gotti, there will be a bloodbath, yes, a civil war, civil war. Gene Gotti is in fact known, yes, to take no shit from no one. That's the street code, as in the way Gotti can be. Big Mac would in fact know. Anybody that done surrounded themselves around a uh, Gene Gotti would know. Those type of individuals you don't want to play with. You're, they might in fact snap your head off and send it to you. In a body bag. Does that make sense? A Gene Gotti being a boss the way that he is and always has been and him snapping your neck into and sending it to your family or something. What type of people, they've been known to cut off fingers and all the rest. Cut up bodies, place it on family grieving family members' doorsteps despite them, the family not knowing that the body is there on the doorstep. They grieving over something else. Could be something going on in their own life and they walk out on the front porch and their day son or daughter is laying in a dead body bag or laying in a, a garbage bag right on the front porch. That's the type of mindset of the mob and the mafia and that. They just have that look, right? He has that look. While in jail, it said jail guards reported to him. And not the other way around. Gene Gotti wasn't reporting to no jail guards. Hell no. The jail guards were in fact reporting to him. So was the prosecutors as well as police officers and politicians. Didn't I just state that in my opening? It helps to be wise with your words in the mouth. Yeah, what you gonna say and yet not out all everything pertain to people's business, right? I, I will just to make sense of that. But yeah, I said that already about how the mafia families of New York was known to take over and run even a New York. And the form of politicians and all the rest with that. There's this infiltration that goes with that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, while in jail, he was not reporting to them. The jail guards was reporting to him. So was prosecutors as well as police officers and also politicians. All the no-namers, all those with no names were in fact reporting to a Gotti. And it's his words, not mine. But Gotti, yes, is a man all about himself along with the ammunition as in what he wears. That mafia cloak. He wears that, yes, to the end of his dying day. That's just the way because, yeah, if you ain't been raised in nothing else, it's to say, well, what other type of job are you going to go back to? That's to be stuck in that. And yet to go to jail is to say, well, it's, this time has been served as in had, right? And yet, so what on that? That's how mafia boss thinks. They don't give a fuck. Because they'll have the whole city and the whole nation, yes, answering to them and nothing else. And possibly having Donald Trump answer to them. You don't know. I'm saying you don't know. A mafia boss will be willing to put even the lights out of a Obama, Michelle Obama, or even a Donald Trump. Because they don't play. They ain't going to answer to nobody. 
Shit, I wonder what the conversation was like over the phone. The jail phone, what even they got it. <laughs> that is funny, in it? So, and that's so interesting how I remember I had, had a conversation somewhere back in 2009, 2010, about how rappers, I remember it was a, a individual. She was, in fact, married to somebody that was a, a beat producer for celebrities. Yes, complete truth with that sort of thing. And how the discussion was how not her husband, but how she didn't like how many rappers, yes, would try to portray themselves in the limelight of being mafia figures. She felt like they were knockoff, branded as knockoff. She couldn't stand it, right? Despite her husband producing beats and all the rest for celebrities that were rappers, right? I get what she's saying. That in, that in fact makes sense. Because see... The mafia, yeah, the, the boss appeal with that sort of thing as in a real mafia is to say you're going to come correct by doing the real thing. And yet to be a knockoff figure is to say you're not. Which is how some of these rappers, in fact, get shot and killed trying to portray themselves as something other than what they're not. That's how lives be lost and taken if you don't know what you're doing and you're not a real mafia boss. And yet a, a Gene Gotti will handle all that. John Gotti when he was alive as well that sort of thing them type of people don't play and yet you got black individuals that's into rapping that think oh well I just repeat the process with that well I don't know if, if you wasn't raised in it from the crave from the cradle it's to say why even try to go there and do that type of thing I'm saying it's whack in the sense if it's not authentic some people, in fact, been uh, raised around hustlers. I myself being one since the crib, raised around a hustler. And so, no, I, I know what all goes into it. And I fear no man because the very man that I once feared is, in fact, dead. My dad, to be exact. All these other figures I, figures I don't fear, not even a uh, mafia, right? Despite what I said in the opening, I don't really fear those type of men, right? Some people do, right? Because they don't know well, what they're going to do and right, right? Even in the form of politicians and who don't pay what for who to get where and why, right? They're dangerous men is all I'm saying. Who don't know that? But yeah. So the release of a Gotti. Of course, Gotti's release wasn't what the public was prepared for. His release put the FBI on alert. They did. They should. He's a man about his own damn swag. Yes, and possibly the toe tag to match it. That's just what Gene Gotti is, right? I didn't even fully go into his history. I should make another video about who the man is as a whole. That would make even the video expression even more intriguing. Intriguing, but gang wars, rivalries from the outside. Looking in. Italian mafia myth yes Italian mafia members being pitted against new kids on the field you ask people ask about well you know we got all type of we got Crips bloods we got Italian mafia members how do these members get along with each other you got Mexican cartels one of those being the the um El, El Salvador's MS-13 gang how does all these individuals get in, get along in relation to gang wars and rivalries? How do they even feel about a a uh, Gambino family and a Gene Gotti and all the rest? Wars are always known to happen when that type of thing goes on. Because, see, to sit in jail 30 years and to say, well, I got still more business to complete, right? It's to say, well, who can I go head to head with? And not only that, who might have been mistreating my nieces and nephews while I was locked away? Who tried to, who might, IRS, you don't know, who might have in fact tried to get in between family business? That's how wars in fact get started with that internal revenue. Yeah, it'd be all type of things in which people don't even speak on, right? There's history in all this with these Italian mafia members and yeah, all the rest ms-13 gangs that's the mexican uh cartel and all that how they fall out and fight publicly and even unseen 
Because a lot of times, even a drug activity, when I said it goes down unseen and you don't see it, as in no, it's there and yet it's happening. And then it don't hit the forefront of even the news or something until people start getting killed or something. That is off the hook. Motorcycle clubs, uh, Bloods and Crips. I already stated the Bloods and Crips. Mile high clubs. Anybody know about mile high clubs? That's ancient as well. Sex in the air can do you right, right? But to have all this in the mix is to say, what do you have? A terrorist. Terrorist and committing terrorism. With no laws involved. Possibly. Who knows? But but to be of that large status, because even, even Americans of all kind have been known to put even a Gambino family, John Gotti, Gene Gotti on a pedestal enough for sometimes those type of people to escape jail but not always no not always not all the time and yet they help the public sometimes help to make characters out of those type of people despite awareness needing to be there as in knowing their name needing to know their name in case of tragedy happens or something or needing to know that they might be in fact leaving living in your neighborhood committing crimes and stuff right that too is how terrorism gets started because if you got men like that working their way into uh roles of politicians is to say well they might in fact organize something and i don't mean organized crime in relation to say overseas somewhere that's outside of america that is in relation to some terrorist or something you might want to be careful about that i might in fact want to be careful with my own mouth and mindset saying that I'm saying that, that's how terrorism can be brought back to America if no not Gene Gotti being a politician no but somebody else part of the family or something that type of stuff could lead to a September 11th a September 11th disaster not completely no but something like it right that's why Americans be terrified they don't know so Big Mac that individual I spoke on Big Mac in the opening of this story, Big Mac went on to say the disaster is on its way because deserts of Las Vegas to every port across the U.S. are preparing for the tragedy to come. They're, in fact, preparing for the tragedy to come. And that that once again includes Gotti and nobody knowing what the mess which stands within his own skin, as in what he's going to bring to the forefront. Nobody knows, is which, which is why Big Mac stated that, right? So Gotti might, in fact, not be ready to adapt to how much the streets have changed since serving 30 years of time in prison. The streets might, in fact, have to adapt to him. While he was away in prison, friends of Gotti's claimed that he plotted and planned his own moves. Yes, moves while he was in prison. See what I'm saying? Just because people are in jail or prison does not mean that's an end. As in the end to a means. That's completely out of context the way I'm saying it. But a lot of individuals like this and even drug dealers are known to carry on their works over into the four walls of a jail cell. Or prison cell. He never stopped. And possibly, I already said that five times, he never will. That man might be still in his coffin one day. Yeah, still completing unfinished business. Yeah, with that. The street activity. Yeah, so 30 years of unfinished business stands on the rise again. Man. Crime families. And the shootout with that. that. That is off the hook. How people, yeah, they be all drawn into stuff like that. The crime family and all, all of that. The, the blood rush with that. The films and all that. Yeah, you got the Godfather. All the films with that type of stuff. It makes me question because, see, yeah, see, a lot of grown men, in fact, is turned on by the swag of that. The way that they dress with the suits and ties and 
being all amped up and pumped up on who they gonna take out not the individuals that's watching it no the mafia families right but also too the the individuals when i said let me reverse this back because that don't sound right but how when people sit and they watch mafia families on film right the depiction and how they wish oh i wish i can be that oh i wish i can live like that Oh, I wish this. Oh, I wish that. You see them have big mansions and big cars, fine homes and wives and all that, right? That's that's interesting in itself because you wonder what's the mindset of the, the people that's watching them, watching these type of figures, as in what's going through their mind as they watching a Gene Gotti or John Gotti or anybody depicted on, on a film, real, in a movie. Why, why would you want to live like the mafia? Outside of shooting and killing people, what what other role? What, what's the point with that? I'm saying, what's the what's the excitement and drive to that type of stuff? Or watching those type of stories? What's the thrill in that? Yeah, because see, even in my past, because with my father, the way that he was, yeah, years before he died, right? And I was told about that. All that type of stuff, like you had individuals, my father wasn't mafia, no, but you had individuals that was in fact marveled by my dad's street life, right? But with me, it helps to say even question and ask and wonder, well, what's to be marveled about? People get into fine linen and jewels and the money and all that. Maybe that what it is completely. I don't know. And yet, if you're not a mafia family or a mafia family member, to so say that life is going to die out over time. It just has to. Because, see, mafia families, they in, fact, they, in fact, protect their own, which is why they're able to survive as long as they do. And some of them, in fact, do get selfish and turn against each other and all the rest, right? Not a lot of them do. I say to a percentage, right? But they do, are, they in fact are able to escape going to jail because of money or family ties and people paying people back and all the rest. And yet some average everyday citizens don't get that privilege who are into, say, a uh, gang type of stuff or drug type of activity. They don't get off easy as, as well, get off as easy as, say, a mafia family, right? That's the truth. But you got video games and stuff like that that have been drafted behind individuals like that that are mafia, right? People trying to live vicariously. Vicariously means when you live through somebody. You see a story, you become intrigued by that intrigue, and you try to repeat the same thing, right? That's interesting. Because, see, I have known individuals close to me when I spoke about the individual that I knew that her husband, yes, was into producing uh, rap beats and all that for famous rappers that were trying to be mafia and all that stuff. I, in fact, knew individuals that were into that sort of uh, lifestyle, not living it, no, wishing they could be it. And then creating and making albums trying to be mafia, right? But what's so funny is to say that them little bastards would more than likely be whimpering and crying if they was to go to jail and serve time like a Gene Gotti did. Trust and believe. That's why you should never want to be something that you're not. Something other than what you are. Even in the form of entertaining, em, entertainment trying to be mafia and boss with that. Because if you get mixed up in, on some wrong deed and serve 30 years like a Gene Gotti is to say you're going to be one of them little bitches crying behind the four walls of a jail not being able to take it because you ain't used to that life i said that how many times and yet a gene Gotti wouldn't give a fuck he would get out the bed every morning and do what he was doing before he got locked up in jail which is street activity before behind the four walls of a jail cell not everybody could take serving 30 years i think that's all to be said as in leave the mafia lifestyle alone if you don't know now you do so we're in fact on id investigation discovery the id uh logo stands right here live now evil lives here thicker than blood recommended for you shouts out to paula evil lives here description in fact awaits you with each one of these you can click the plus sign to add to favorites shouts out to lieutenant joe kenda yes homicide hunter to be exact 
American Monster, Vanity Fair, Confidential. Either one of these, in fact, got descriptions to go with them. You can, in fact, see that as I'm rolling over each one. Helps to play your cards right. Unlocked episodes, What Lies Beneath Season 1, Episode 5. There's a show called The Coroner, if you don't know. American, Mon American Monster Season 3, Episode 10. Clicking the play button is to click right here. This would, in fact, present you with a visual. Getting on the inside to see. Add to watch later is to click the plus sign. Either one of these. Either one on the spread you would in fact be able to see on last night uh some of these are in fact locked with the key in order to gain access is to in fact click that you would in fact be taken on the other side as in driven all the way through to gain access by present yes presenting your provider is going to in fact request who's your provider to get through unlock series more of the good stuff scorn scorned and scorned lovers and all the rest that's a disaster in itself i'm saying the truth id go original series true nightmares tales of evil to catch a killer inside the chase they got twisted dead north of interrogation that's a go original for those that don't know it's been thawed out and I don't mean a coroner's office. Schedule preview. To watch live. Evil lives here thicker than blood. You can click right here and watch live. And you will be guided to that. Support. Yes, yeah, save the children's hurricane relief efforts. To do that sort of thing is in fact donate here by clicking right here on donate here. And you will be driven to that. To give is to, yeah, serve with a good deed. Helping others out outside of just yourself. Crime Feed News. To go to the Crime Feed News and in fact click right within here. Crime Feed News. You're going to be directed once you click on the outside to Crime Feed News. Yes, CrimeFeed.com. It's going to take you to Bill Cosby's story. Five possible warning signs we all may have missed. That is so sad, him being that age. I spoke about that how many times? Red Crimes, Hidden Murders. Download now. You can click that to download. A homicide detective, a city of corruption, and a killer on the loose. Red crimes, hidden murders. Download the free app now. Clicking that. To receive a newsletter is in fact type your email address in and then click next and you will in fact uh, receive an email from Discovery ID Investigation Discovery to be specific. So I think that's all to be said for now. What do you think, perceive, and believe that I asked that question already uh, based upon what do you think, feel, consider about mafia families? I want you to leave the comment yes below. Not in the description section, no. Let me know what you feel and think about even a Gene Gotti. Or if you never heard of him, you might want to look and delve deeper into the man himself. The fine art of war, I'm guessing, who knows? But each individual, in fact, holds a perspective on even a uh, situation such as this mafia members being re released and bosses from jail. I'm saying. So, yeah, I think that's all for now, and I'm gone. Enjoy the night, evening, day, and all the rest.